All right, we're back with some expression pedals. So, the Billy Pock Deluxe and expression pedals, it works with that one. Uh, you can do 90% of everything with that one. But having said that, I think you're going to want one. And uh, here's why. Uh, the first thing you can do is control delay time. Which you have undoubtedly seen me demonstrate in countless videos already. And then you can flip this uh, toggle assignment switch and it controls the volume of the repeats uh, at the playback head. So you get access to a parameter that's not available on the front panel. Uh, you get to control the volume of the repeats at the playback head. And what that means is that uh, not only does the volume of the repeats go down, um, but uh, the sustain goes down too because you're just turning it down within the loop. And it's not the same as record level and it's not the same as the echo balance. Record level is how hot you're feeding the loop and the echo uh, volume is just the mixer. So what gets out the door, balanced between your dry and wet signal. So uh, when you're in volume mode uh, with the expression pedal, you get a whole parameter that you don't have uh, available with the pedal by itself. So you're unlocking that one uh, use. And then if you're in program three, um, you get to unlock, put it to the left in V mode. Um, the rotary speed. And then you go to program four and you get to unlock the wall filter mode. So, and uh, in conjunction with the echo oscillation button, uh, there's all kinds of issues you can uh, incorporate with that. So let's get to it. Um, what do I need in an expression pedal? Which ones work? Which ones don't work? Um, and then first, let me give you the specs. Uh, the specs that you need is you need a TRS expression pedal. And TRS means when you uh, look at the cable, Instead of, uh, there's three, there's a tip and there's a ring and the sleeve. So TRS cable. And um, let me go ahead and read the spec to you here. So ring to wiper, sleeve to ground, and the tip goes to the voltage, which happens to be 3.3. Um, you don't want to plug a regular stereo cable into that jack. And uh, I know you're not going to remember this because I'm just talking at you uh, with it. So... Look in the description of the video below, and we have a link to our website, which we've typed up uh, the information you need for expression pedals. And we've also gone through um, configurations for a small handful of the different models. We, we, we are building the list as we go, so we don't have a comprehensive list of every expression pedal out there. Um, but if we take the specs I read uh, and, and look that up on our website, and if you have a favorite uh, company of expression pedals, you can inquire and tell them, tell them what the specifications are and they can help you out there. And you can report back to us and we can crowdsource a library of expression pedals. Uh, so, but some of the ones that do work, you have the ubiquitous Roland EV5. Almost everyone I know has one laying around in a cardboard box somewhere. Um, if you have one laying around, go ahead and bust it out and use it just to get started. But it's they aren't really very precise. Uh, the pots aren't very good. So you don't get your minimum and maximums very good. But it'll get you started and you can kind of start exploring with some of the sounds. Uh, then we have uh, a commonly available, the, the M-Audio M-Gear one. This one's pretty inexpensive and it works reasonably well. You know, it's kind of partly plastic. Uh, we recommend the metal body one, especially if you're gonna play live because you're just more precise when you lift your foot off the pedal, it won't kind of be wonky and change the setting because it's just kind of sloppy, uh, but that works. There's also the Moog one. Uh, it's kind of high profile, but it actually works reasonably well. Um, these are commonly available as well. And um, now a lot of you have a volume pedal laying around, like the Ernie Ball volume pedal. Um, you can actually make a volume pedal kind of work. Uh, you have to use a tip ring sleeve on one side, going to dual cable, dual mono like that, and you can plug it into the 
inputs and outputs. And once again, if you go to our website in the link below, it'll kind of give you for, further information on that. Uh, but doesn't uh, volume pedals don't work 100% uh, with the Billy Park Deluxe. Actually, if you're only using it to control the volume of the repeats, they work perfectly. But if you're trying to control delay time, you actually lose half the delay time because of the way the volume pedal interacts with um, the pedal. So I just mentioned that as uh, you can get by with that if it fits the requirements. Uh, the one we've been using the most uh, is the Dunlop Volume X series. Um, not affiliated with Jim Dunlop, a very fine company though, and um, this has been, of the ones we've tried, our favorite one. It's uh, solid, uh, you can, uh, it's precise, so you can move it to a certain position, it'll stay there when you lift your foot off of it. Um, it also works as a volume pedal if you want. And uh, but the expression pedal, you just plug in the expression pedal jack. Um, so when in doubt, just just kind of spring for one of these, and you'll be good to go with the Belly Park Deluxe. And that's it for expression pedals. So let's see what else we have to talk about as this video continues. <laughs> ¶¶ 